What's up people, it's DevSage here, and this is the fifth video in my JavaScript data structure series. In this video, we'll be going over sets. So what is a set? A set is simply a collection of unique elements. Uh, like some of the previous data structures we went over, you can kind of imagine it as this linear collection of items, except that this collection of items follows this one particular rule. There cannot be any duplicate elements. So some common set operations include add, which adds an element to the set, delete, which removes an element from the set, has, which returns true or false based off of if this set contains a certain element, and size, which returns the size or the number of elements in this set. So let's jump into the code. So how do we use a set? Let's create our first set. So let's create a set of names. So let's say const names equals new set. So we've just created a new set called names. So let's add a few names to this set. So let's say names.add devsage, names.add traversy media, and names.add coding phase. And let's print out our set. So let's say console log names. Oops. So let's run this and we have set devsage traversing media coding phase so what happens when we try to add a name that's already in this set so names that add let's try to add devsage again let's let's run this devsage traversing media coding phase our second devsage here did not get added to the set because sets cannot contain duplicate elements one thing to note is these add calls, they can actually be chained. So I can actually say names.add, dot add, dot add, dot add like that. Um, and this works the exact same way. Like there's nothing different about this. So this is your choice whether you want to uh, chain those together or not. I'll keep them like that for now. So one thing sets allow you to do is it allows you to loop over all of the elements in the set using for each kind of like an array so instead of printing out the set directly i could say names dot for each um let's pr say in for name and i could say console log in and instead of printing out the set itself this is going to loop through and print out each individual element in the set so let's get rid of this let's create an array called numbers and what we can do is we can pass in this array to a set and then that set will contain non duplicate elements from this array so let's add some numbers to this array so one two three four five Let's add some duplicates like two, three, five, and six. So now we can create a new set. Let's call this set refined numbers. And we can pass in this array to this set. And refined numbers is going to be a set that contains all non duplicates from this array that we passed in. So if we were to print out refined numbers let's run this we'll get a set that has one two three four five six all the non-duplicate values from the array that we passed in and then what we can also do is we can take this set and we can turn it back into an array if we wanted to we do that using the spread syntax so 
let's uh, let's do this. Let's create a new array. Let's say uh, const new numbers array equals, and if we want to convert a set back to an array, we say we put the brackets here, and we use the spread syntax three dots, and we pass in the set that we want to convert back. And this is going to take the set and it's going to expand it into an array. So let's say console log new numbers array and let's comment this one out. Now this won't give us all of the original elements back. This will just take the elements from the set and convert it to an array as it did here. We won't get all these elements, all the elements that we lost originally when we converted it to a set. We just take the set as is and convert it into an array. One of the main purposes of sets is to basically just keep track of values that we've seen. So one of the most useful methods that a set has is the has method. So if we wanted to check to see if the set contains a certain value, we could use set.has. So let's say we wanted to check to see if this set contains two. So let's console log refine numbers dot has two. And let's run this true. Let's check to see if it has 22. As you know, it's going to return false. So that's the has method. Um, the has method is one of the main methods when it comes to sets because, well, if you're using a set in the first place, the problem you're trying to solve probably just involves you keeping track of some values that you've seen before. So has really helps you out with this. And that's a little bit about sets in JavaScript. If you like this video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more content and stay updated with what I'm doing. Um, join my Discord. I created a Discord community recently to basically serve as a place where developers can come and learn from each other and grow and network. So if you want to join that, the link is going to be in the description for that. But uh, other than that, peace.